Hey, how's everybody doing? My name's Lex Coop and I'm back and I'm bringing you some Gears of War Judgment. Now, I am playing on um, playing the game mode Overrun and I'm playing on the map Skyrun. Skyline, sorry, Skyline. And I apologize for any of you huge Gears of War fans for me pronouncing that wrong. Now, I am playing on the beta or the early access demo and uh, you guys can actually get the game. It's actually out already, so you guys can go play it. And um, I'm just going to give you guys my thoughts on it and some uh, just explain it a little bit. What Overrun, in, Overrun is basically is it's a game mode where you have to um, uncover the e-holes. The e-holes are basically where your team spawns. Like they come out of the hole and they move on. Basically the whole point is to destroy this like generator at the end. And there's about three... There's one, two, there's two different e-holes. There's three, actually. There's one that you start at, and then there's the ones that you get, you unlock, so that your team moves forward. And while you're playing this, uh, as you can see at the top left, you're gathering points. Now, you spend those points only when you're when you're the locust, though. Um, and you spend those points to be to be bigger creatures and, and, and stuff like that. Now, I have found a really good method, and... It's really underused. The ticker is so good for this. So good. First off, because it's small, so people, a lot of the time, they don't see it coming and they don't even focus on it because they don't think it's like a, that big of a deal. But it's really good for not being seen very good and also it's really, um, it's really good for doing damage because it has two ways of doing damage. It has one by doing a melee option, which when you get real close to something, it, it melees. However, the downside is, is that it's got a weak amount of health. So I think if they shoot it twice, it automatically it, it dies. But what you would assume is that it would explode, but it doesn't. If they kill it before you uh, assign the detonation, which is by the e, the B button, is explode. Um, if you use that, you can it does damage to whatever you're nearby. Now there's these little barriers. There's these little barriers that you have to unlock. You've seen me already destroy a couple. And you have to destroy these barriers so you can so you can move on and and get past them. There's only one creature that actually there's two technically um, that you can use to get past the barriers without destroying them. And uh, the wretch, the wretch actually jumps over the barriers, um, receives a little bit of damage by going past the barbed wire or the uh, the lasers. Not that much damage though at all. And the um, the other thing is it's this big spider worm thing and I'm sorry I don't know the name right now but anyways it actually can burrow underneath I'm not actually gonna just get into too much of that because I might actually do like a, a, a breakdown of the game the mode the, and the characters and the options what I'm using is the ticker now each this is one of the e-holes that we just unlocked so this is the first one and there's one more and then it goes straight to the um, the actual generator which is the whole purpose. So I um, I'm using the ticker. The reason the the special ability of the ticker is the um, the sprint. Uh, it's not called the sprint. The dash. The dash is is one of the things that it does. And what it basically does is it makes it like j l run really really fast uh, through about uh, 20, 20 meter radius or distance. I want to say. Um, the only bad thing is yeah, like I said, you get shot twice and it, they automatically kill you and it does not detonate you so you have to explode so if you feel like you're getting shot at the best thing to do is just press that B button once you press the B button it doesn't matter how many times they shoot you you're automatically in like a self-destruct mode and you will blow up and anything that you're nearby will uh, will blow up um, how do I like it it's a lot of fun it takes it a it takes away from like the regular like you know, team deathmatch style of gameplay. So, if you guys are interested in playing it, go check it out. The game, uh, the demo, the demo, the beta, the early release beta demo. It's kind of titled as it. Uh, it's on the uh, Xbox Live Marketplace. You guys can go play it now. If you guys don't want to, if you guys want to at least try out the game before you want to uh, try playing it, the app, going out and purchasing the actual game definitely check it out it's a lot of fun and uh it's something different it's a lot of fun i had a lot of fun with it i keep saying i had a lot of fun but it's because i did i was originally the first map i played 
I uh, was using different characters. I was using the... I tried the Wretch at first and just got, like, shot on, so I just passed up on that. And then I used um, some of the bigger locusts to, that have, like, actual weapons and started using those. But I found that the ticker... Yeah, there's a lot of travel time. You're running from your spawn to the, um, the barriers and trying to blow them up. And then there's a lot of travel time that way. But it's the best method. Because uh, if they're not using the... Um, if they're not using the character on the uh, human side to actually repair, because there's a character that can repair it, but I'll I'll do another video on that when I actually feel like um, showing you guys one of those sides of the gameplay. I'm just showing you the one side. It's always a two-game, two-sided uh, map. So this is the the character I'm using now. The the I can't remember I can't remember what it's called, but it's it's got a burrow, and what it does is it actually goes underneath in the ground. They can't shoot you. And you only have obviously so much time that you can uh, burrow under the ground. My time meter just ran out, so it comes up. But it it does so much damage, and it can receive a lot of damage too. So it's really powerful. And that's usually what I do is I use the ticker until I unlock the amount uh, of points, which costs 5,000 points, to unlock this. And then once I use this, then I usually burrow down until I get right next to it. Now it's already received half the damage, and they have all their four guys there and uh, end up like taking it out now one of the cool things about this is when you destroy their cover over the e-hole their whole team spawns back for the for the next part of this round their whole team spawns back at the other base so they're not there so if you're almost dead like i was just here they're not there anymore and i have and i have my my guy my full guy and at and he basically has time to regenerate by the time he gets to the next thing that's Im at, of any importance I basically take out both bases with this one, with this one, uh, this one character, which is pretty badass. Um, I learned about the the burrowing option pretty quick. Um, you just press on the right bumper. Each, like I said, each thing has its own ability. Um, I found there is only one spot that you cannot use the burrowing option, and it's over this wood that's over top of uh, over top of the actual. Um, uh, like a gap for some reason it won't let me go underneath it. I don't know why I'm almost dead here But because I had a wretch that used his special ability, which is like he screams at the people and basically what it does is it stuns them They might have been able to kill me if he didn't actually do that because he did it to a nearby enemy This is actually coming up really quick. Uh, I didn't get to as many things as I wanted to so I probably I should I'm probably gonna do another one I'm gonna do another like basic run through of the uh, the human side and then I might actually do um, an actual like tutorial break breakthrough uh, tips on how to uh, get through the rounds as quickly as possible and be the most successful. Um, I I was like MVP almost like every game, so the strategy I have really works. So this is Lex Coop saying, "Ray, come subscribe, dude. Juice Kadoosh." They show up whether they show up from firing or whether your teammates bring up some scouts. On the left here, this is your health meter. You can see how well you're doing and if you're about to die. Alright, this is your points meter. It tells you how many points you've accumulated and it tells you how close you are to getting your next point streak. Now there's three different point streaks. There's scouts, poisonous gas, exploding barrels. In order to get scouts and call them in, the meter has to completely fill up. And then in order to get gas, poisonous gas, that meter has to fill up. And 